for the men in their kayaks, the men's K2 200. The heat winners who went directly into the final, Lithuania and Poland. And this was quick, 31.71 for Lithuania, 31.69. I wonder whether it could be a quick double. Out on the far side there, Spain, Christian Toro and Carlos Garot. In lane one, Hungary, Mark uh, Balaska and uh, Kolos uh, Sismadia. Italy in uh, lane number three, Manfredi Rizza and Andrea Di Liberto. Lithuania come up next in uh, lane four. And then next to them, Poland. And as you see the crews, just to uh, remind you that a year ago in Poland, it was the Italians, Manfredi Rizza and Andrea Di Liberto, who won the title from Lithuania, Artura Seja and Ignas uh, Nabokowskas. And Spain were in fourth place ahead of Hungary, Poland, Ukraine, France finished in uh, ninth place. But Italy, the defending champions, so to speak, there was no such race in the World Championships two weeks ago. And uh, there, Germany, uh, Jonas Drager and Moritz uh, Florstedt in uh, lane eight, getting a big cheer and easy to pick out again in that pink boat. Peder Menning, interesting. Peder Menning, closest to you with his partner, Theodor Urban. Not entirely out of this, uh, sitting in lane number nine, closest to you. Lithuania and Poland on their performances in the heats would be favored here. Nine boats, three medals. <laughs> and the sun has arrived. <laughs> well, it's warming up nicely, and this will be a hot race. Anyone right from lane one, the fancied Spaniards, in fact, right down to lane nine could take a medal here. The final of the K2 200 at the European Championships. Watch out for lanes four and five, but it's not that clear cut. Absolutely uh, even start there. Great speed by the Italian defending champions in lane three. Three from the top of your picture. Getting out really quickly with Lithuania and Poland going with them. Those are the three boats that are spearheading. Yeah, the Italians, excellent start. They've got a little bit to do in the middle section now as we see Lithuania is beginning to make that stroke work for them. But also right alongside them to their right is the Polish boat with the red bow. Those three at the moment ahead of the rest of the field. Coming to the line now. Uh, very close here. Whoa, that is close. Did the Italian get back very difficult to tell what I can say is the Germans missed out they look like they were fourth but it's between the three boats Italy Lithuania and Poland Italy looked good early on but the others just put them under pressure as the race went on question is have they done enough to hold on they think so but uh, I want to see just, the replay Lithuanians were thinking is that a is that a quick fire double uh, I'd love to see the replay on this well, it looks like it's going to be Italy. Very, very close. That's quite some achievement. Winning a title is one thing, defending it's another. And they think they've done it, but everything's unofficial at the moment. Here we go from the start. Yeah, d a decent start. It was just lane six, really didn't get away so well. The Serbians, everybody else got away to a good start. Italians, as you spotted, got away well. Middle part of the race, the three boats begin to emerge. The Italians, the Lithuanians, and the Poles. And then it was down to who can maintain that speed, maintain the length and the power in each and every stroke best. And it seems that it was the Italians. And of course, you've got to remember, Manfredi Rizza, he was the silver medalist in Tokyo in the K1 200 meters, so he is a fantastic 200 meter paddler. 
Lithuanians in two minds. There you go. They think they've done it. So, it's a television line. It's that close, that tight. It is. It's also interesting that each of those three boats paddled across the line. They didn't launch. They want to maintain their form, maintain the boat speed right the way through the line. It's difficult to tell exactly where it is. And uh, the Italians look like they've got it. And they have. And um, Poland have just denied uh, Lithuania, but look how close that is. 31-6-6, 31-6-7, 31-6-7. As you said, Germany in fourth place there. But congratulations to Italy.